Hello everyone, how's it going? And welcome to today's Wild Rift video. In this video, we're going to be checking out the brand new ADC item down in the dual lane, Magnetic Blaster. This is a new item that got added in patch 4.4, where it basically combined RSC and Static Shiv into one item. So this, the energized passives, the power blitz now it's called for the passives has the generate 25% faster. You gain the range, which is the same as RSC. And also you deal 50 to 120 bonus magic damage. And that bonus damage can bounce to five nearby enemy champions, which, hey, is static shift passive. So both items have been removed from the game and they've basically been combined into one item, Magnetic Blaster. Now, my thoughts of this item, I did run it in a a few games and i think caitlin is probably the best champion to run this item however i i really feel like the bonus magic damage because now you don't have two items to stack it up uh like you don't have static shift and rc that can stack up the bonus magic damage that you can get you only really have storm razor which is not really that great of an item because bloodthirst is so strong at the moment the extra damage you're getting is not really that valuable yes you get a little bit of extra range yes you get the spread damage but Again, even the spread damage is not really that um, important. It's not really that nice. So I think that this item is probably a bit more of a later item. Maybe build this as a third or fourth item. I tried this as a second item. You'll see the gameplay. I do a little bit of damage with the item, but I don't think it's like the crazy strong item that maybe we were expecting it to be because it's, you know, combining RSC and Static Shiv into one item but overall i think the item is decent like i said the only champion i've really tried it on the moment is caitlin i want to try it on champions like tristana and maybe Jin, um because maybe Jin will help uh benefit a lot from the crit and the attack speed but we'll have to wait and see and we'll see you know how other champions feel with it at the moment but this is the caitlin build anyway uh very similar to other builds with obviously gluttonous greaves as our first item bloodthirster as our well second item if you can call it item if you can call gluttonous grease item in a way but yeah bloodthirster insanely powerful more ad more attack speed really really powerful item at the moment you're pretty much go to first buy on every single ad carry right now then we try out the new magnetic blaster as i mentioned if i was to replay this game and replay the build i would probably do something like this where i would swap the ie and mortar reminder and build Man magnetic blaster a little bit later on down the line but i wanted to give it a try anyway but yeah infinity edge is still here mortal reminder is still here as well very very powerful item right now with crit and also the grievous wounds now on the item very very powerful you know especially the crit being added to this item which allows you to play for a flexible last item more of my mortius i covered this already in a video but more of my mortius very very strong with the magic shield that you get every single time that you auto attack However, you can be very flexible with your last item. You, know, you can go Guardian Angel or Runa's Hurricane. Both of these items can also work very well. Now, I do like Conqueror on Caitlyn. I know some people like Lethal Tempo. Some people like Conqueror. There is a bit of a debate about it at the moment. You know, what's better, Conqueror or Lethal Tempo? I feel like I have enough attack speed in my build with Legend Alacrity, the Magnetic Blaster, and the extra little bit of attack speed that we get from Bloodthirster. So I feel like we don't actually need the extra attack speed from Lethal Tempo. Maybe it might help us stack up the Magnetic uh, magnetic blaster a little bit more maybe we have to try it in another video maybe we could try lethal tempo with maybe four energized items and see how well that does in terms of damage but i tried conqueror in this gameplay it didn't go too bad it went pretty well we obviously go for brutal because of caitlin's insane range you get a lot of early attack damage giant slayer against all the bruises and the tanks that are currently in the meta at the moment and then i tried overgrowth as my secondary rune this is a good option if you don't want to go for bone plating if you're against a lot of poke and maybe you don't want to get poked down and get bone plating propped and then it basically becomes useless for a few seconds overgrowth just gives you stacking hp throughout the whole game you roughly get around 300 to 400 hp at the end of the game so it can help out you know that extra little bit of hp can maybe help you help help keep you alive and then for the summer spells we have flash and ghost ghost is insanely good on caitlin because she has incredible range as i mentioned so she can run run people down run forward or she can run backwards and kite backwards at the same time with her incredible range but yeah magnetic blaster 
I think it's okay. I don't think it's that bad. Let me know what you think of the item down in the comments and maybe let me know what champions you've been running Mag Magnetic Blaster on. I'd love to know all of your opinions. But we gave it a try in this gameplay. This gameplay is a bit of a wild one, to be honest with you. The early game didn't go too well for me, but I kept my head cool, even though my team was kind of flaming me a little bit. I kept my head cool and I carried in the late game and got an insane quadra kill right at the end of the game. So hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next water video. Peace. Let's go, baby. See, I, the thing is, I don't know if Magnet Blaster is worth it as a second item. Because you get zero AD. Like, I don't know if the item is even worth it. I don't know. It's a bit weird. Unless we go Storm Razor maybe into it. Even then, then we don't go Bloodthirster. That feels really bad. Why the hell does my jungler have Longsword first item? Why does my fiddlesticks have long sword first item? Anyone know? Maybe fourth? Yeah, I was thinking maybe fourth. But isn't the game just over by then? I'm playing BT into new RSC. It works fine in my opinion. Yeah, I tried it for one game. I just felt like I didn't do that much damage. But they have a Samira and... Hello! Why is my support AFK? This guy's just walking up for free? And my support's just AFK? Boom. Like Twitch is coming bot lane. Man, we're supposed to be bullying them, and my my Nami's playing so passive. Let's investigate. There we go. It's more like it, Nami. Fiddlesticks is mid again. Not Fiddlesticks, sorry, Twitch. I'm just going to go back for boots. Maybe not. Let's crack this case wide open. guy gets away with everything i cannot believe it how is he dashing there i'm dead this game is such bullshit this game is such bullshit man how are they all alive on one hp Oh man! I mean, my car, my fucking Nami has first strike. Like, cool. <sighs> I cannot believe my support was AFK. There, that's so sad. Like, if my support's not AFK when the when the the Samira's walking up to farm, like, just fucking auto attack. You even have first strike. Why does my guy have first strike? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> My Nami support has first strike, so goodbye to my shielding, I guess. Yeah, man. This, this Samira is so shit as well. It's so depressing. Like, this guy survives on one HP the whole fucking game. I can't, I can't, man. I can't. Yeah, meanwhile, my whole team is just running it. Yeah, whatever, man.
Oh, I don't know, man. Let's cut this case wide open. I don't know, this game's kind of cringe. So cringe. Mejai's first item on Nami, by the way. Yeah, good one. Mejai's first item on Nami. Oh, my fiddlesticks is now dead because he flashed into nowhere. Yay! What a fun game I play. Very fun. Very cool. Very enjoyable. Like, what are you doing, Fiddlesticks? Just go fucking Herald, you idiots! Oh my god, man. Now I'm dead. Great. I'm dead to poison. No, I'm not. <laughs> this game is the fucking worst. I swear to god. This game is actually the worst fucking game to play. Oh my god. Like, this mirror is so bad and she just survives on one HP the whole game. Oh my god. Like, my Nami playing like a pussy the entire laning phase, going Medjai's first item. Oh, yeah, good one. Finally, this piece of shit. Oh, I'm dead. Crime is common. Logic is rare. Holy moly, finally the Samira dies. He did get a kill though, which is kind of annoying. I much prefer this to desk duty. Tower. I couldn't even get the tower chat. Hot on the trail. is always aware of her surroundings so fuck this twitch champ as well man this twitch champion's so cringe oh we get to see the stacks on rod of ages as well now that's pretty good no one builds his items so i didn't even notice
Crime is common. Not Ah, oh, this Twitch champion is so cringe, man. Nash just gives you so much more damage than Rune's Hurricane, the Zone. Rune's Hurricane doesn't give you as much damage. I might try to Twitch Jungle next game. Bam, 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 bam. I might try. I might try Twitch next game. Champion man. Drink, Surroundings. 
shot. Let's crack all that. One more time. Can't stop. Mm -hmm. I much prefer this to desk duty. I will not tolerate lawlessness. Business to know what others do not. They have triple AP damage this game. I can also go Runans. Let's go, baby. I think more of my mortis is more important here to survive the AP damage. I don't know if, if I don't know if Runans is going to be worth it this game.
I will not tolerate lawlessness. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Now she's not typing, is she? Now they're both not typing, are they? God, I hate people sometimes. I hate people sometimes. Oriana's not typing anymore, is she? Sometimes I hate people, I swear to God. Oh, guys, the, the, bot, the bot lane's feeding, guys. I, I, the bot lane's feeding. He's feeding. Even though I had the same score as him and the same gold as him. And Galio had the same gold as Samira. But apparently I'm the one feeding. 41k damage in the end. Pretty good. Not bad. I don't know how I feel about this build with Magnetic um, Blaster. I don't know how, how I feel about this build. Don't know how I feel about this build. I didn't feel like I was doing that much damage. I don't know. Maybe I was actually doing damage with this build. I mean, to be honest, I think it's... Bloodthirster, Infinity Edge, Mortal Reminder, and then Magnetic Blaster later on. Like, you don't build Magnetic Blaster until later on in the game. I'd probably fourth item, I would say. Because I get, having no AD in the item feels really bad. And also, the magic damage that you get, you don't really feel it that much, to be honest. I feel like you don't really feel that damage too much. I don't know. Still, overall, decent game. Decent game chat. Good carry game. That was kind of a pod carry game. What'd you get? A quadra kill and a triple kill in the end? Not bad. GG's. GG's.